Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to Digital Experience. This is our iteration retro. We're going to go over uh, things that went well and things to improve on from the last two week period. Uh, it's Thursday, October 5th. Um, I've got the first thing for things that went well. Um, just a shout out to John. Um, a lot of us were migrating over solutions pages to the CMS, um, and a lot of them are built with templates and they're using um, different slug pages. Um, and so we had just been given some solutions pages uh, and John kind of figured out a way to divide up the solutions pages that make a bit more sense. So each one of us is kind of handling a section of solutions pages. Um, and then he also came up with some really clever ways of, of dealing with multiple components in a page. Um, so thank you for that. I think it helped me um, and Miguel also working with Miguel this week a little bit on, on some solution pages. It's been nice, you know, my best friend. Um, I'll pass it off to Nathan. Thanks, Laura. Uh, yeah, I just want to put out a huge thanks to SRE team and Dennis for getting us access to Contentful in GA. Or sorry, other way around, GA in Contentful. So now if you go to uh, the page content types, uh, you can actually see the analytics for that page, which is pretty neat. Um, yeah, I think that's it for things that went well. Justin, you have the first and last one, I think, for things to improve on. That's like every hour. We don't have anything else to improve on. Um, yeah, just going to reiterate this again. I've said it a few times, like we'll do better content types, um, and pages and those templates and contentful keep in mind that like, the, our end users are not engineers or shouldn't be like the goal is that we would never need to touch content hopefully. So, um, embody your inner UX specialist. Think about, <clears throat> uh, naming, think of like the, the friendly name, think about order of things as we build things out to make it easier for someone else to edit the page. If this is complex or too hard, people aren't gonna use that. People aren't gonna use it and it's gonna to fall to us. And then that's not the end goal for this. So just keep it out there. Um, I know as we go through this, as we onboard people into Contentful, uh, the content uh, creators, like we'll get a lot of feedback around, oh, it'd be great if this field is up here. It'd be great if we could reorder this to this or maybe add a new field here. Like we will iterate on all these content types moving forward to really improve this. So this is the tool for them. It's not a tool for us. So like I said, just keep that in mind as you're building things out, um, try to make it as easy for, for everyone else. Okay. I think maybe our shortest retro ever. Um, any last thoughts before I stop the recording? Uh, yeah, um, with the with the last thing that Justin said, um, when when is the the deadline for people start using Contentful? Um, so like for example, if we've been doing things very wrong, uh, how can we uh find out quickly? Yeah, it will be like an ongoing process, like. I don't, I wouldn't say that there is going to be like a deadline that the deadline is to get everything into contentful by the end of October, essentially. So and then we will continue to iterate in contentful to make sure it's as usable as, as possible. But theoretically, by the end of October, anyone could log into contentful and update content, swap an image, whatever they need to do, and it will render. It'll, you know, pipeline will build and it will show up um, live on the site. From that point on, then we will, as as teams start using it, we'll gather feedback and then continue to iterate on that process um, to build out the, the tool for them, for the teams so they can start building out their own internal processes to like update, you know, a customer case study or update like a solutions page. They will have a better understanding and they will know. Uh, so then they can train other team members tip that the content and it's not gonna be us training them like this is their tool and their sections to own so just think about it in, in like when as, you, as you're going but know that like we'll probably like just you know most of it will be reordering maybe a rename like the friendly name not the select name so we don't have to change your code but stuff like that that we'll kind of go through and make it easier for other team members do we are we going to have a process that involves like MRs and review? Like if people try to add a new component, um, like the way that I've built some of my pages again in the wrong way, where I'm just like grabbing content with the index 
one and displaying that here and content with the index six and displaying that over here. And then if people start moving that around, it breaks everything um, instead of using, you know, IDs or whatever. Um, you know, if people try to play with that and then it breaks, um, it would be cool if that broke in an MR instead of like shooting straight to prod, you know? Ideally, like the draft, like the drafts auto save would either kick off like a, um, like a review app and, or like the, a live preview kind of situations. So they could see it broken. So they wouldn't publish it live. Um, I am planning on like probably for the first like month, month and a half, two months, we might be the final like approvers, kind of like our current code owners and by experience now. So we can look at things. Um, and as we feel more comfortable, we can update that process so other team members can, you know, they can deploy things on their own. But that's kind of how I, I see it. Cause this is a learning process for us and them, because we don't have that MR process set up, you know, it won't work like that. Um, so we'll learn the right way to view and approve. Um, and I wouldn't say like the right way or wrong way. We can just say like the right way or Laura's way for building out contentful things. Um, but yeah, so uh, we will, we will have a documented process and it'll be like an interim process of, you know, once the pages are live, we might have the final, we'll set up the workflow and the, the user permission. So we'll do the final push so we can that make sure that like, everything is as it should be um ideally we wouldn't need to have that we'd set up like uh, validations and everything is set up so they can't break it um but they can only do what we want them to do if we don't want them to move things around then we don't allow that like, that's completely turned off but on certain pages where we do want to give them flexibility of like moving maybe a cta up like that should be available and we can kind of work towards that as well I've been sufficiently roasted. So I think we can end the call. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time.